Good evening, Blog Talk listeners and YouTube viewers. Today is Thursday, March 21st, 2013. You're listening to Wings Radio. I'm your host, Glenda Linkus, and tonight we're going to be talking about how to put your houses in order. The Lord released a word recently about putting our houses in order, and it was a very grave word. Uh, when it posted on the Wings of Prophecy site, I got a lot of uh, comments on it. And it's very clear from that word that the Lord wants us to be ready to leave the earth at any time. And I got a lot of emails saying, okay, how do I put my house in order? So I asked the Lord to explain that. And that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. I want to tell y'all also that um, I am working every single day on The Healing Companion, which is the second book in the Companion series. The Healing Companion is going to be the story of me walking out the healing journey. I think I know a lot of Christians, including myself, that read a lot of healing books and we went around, you know, confessing healing scriptures and saw no results from it. And uh, early last year when I was in just a great deal of pain, I began asking the Lord to teach me about healing. And he asked me one day, he said, do you, do you trust me to heal you? And I said, Sure, Lord, of course I trust you. And then later, I was like, why is he asking me that? And, you know, he never really said why he was asking me why he was asking me that question, but he showed me a vision of three books. And the first book was The Wilderness Companion. The second book was The Healing Companion. The third book is called The Grief Companion. So I'm walking out the second one now, and I'm writing about it, and it's literally... It, it reads like if you were right beside me when I'm walking this thing out and what God's teaching me along the way. He said if I would fight the battle for healing, he would give me revelation about the healing process, you know, how, why we're not healed, even though we, you know, confess the scriptures, the missing pieces. And as I have done that, I have seen incredible results. So it's... Um, I think it's going to be a very interesting journey. I'm not all the way at the end yet, obviously. And, of course, I'm recovering from the stroke, so this is the perfect time to walk out the rest of the healing journey and get all the way healed as I'm writing the rest of the book. So I have, I think, either 125 or 140-something pages. I can't remember. And I'm writing on it every day. So y'all pray for that. The Lord told me that thousands of people would get healed when they read that book and did what was in that book. And he said, in a time when medical care was very scarce. And he did not say why it was very scarce. So I'm going to finish that as quickly as I possibly can. There was something else I wanted to tell you all about. I'm trying to remember what it was. Oh, I had a vision several days ago. And I'm not going to go into it on this broadcast but I just made a short video about it because I wanted to see if anybody else had seen anything like that. And I asked the Lord what it meant, and he, he told me uh, something very short about what it meant. But it, uh, it concerns the U.S., so um, y'all might want to take a look at that, especially if the Lord's been talking to you anything about what's coming for the United States. And if you've seen anything or heard anything from him that seems to be along the same lines, please post a comment so other people can... Uh, see what's going on. Okay, I'm, I apologize that my voice is, is not all the way there. My voice has not been very strong since the stroke. And it's just not come all the way back yet. But I know the Lord will restore it. So I'm going to do my best to read this word to y'all. And as quickly as I can, I'll get the word typed up and I'll get it out on the wing site where you can uh, read it. And the word is called how to put your house in order. My people, in order for you to put your houses in order, you must defer all decision making to me or my holy word. To be in order is to walk in my ways, do my will, and obey my commands. Many of you have walked your own way and done your own will for all your lives. This was not my way for you. But in your stubbornness and rebellion, you refused to hear my voice or obey what was right. 
Let me stop for just a second there because the Lord is showing me in the spirit there's a gentleman who's watching this video or who will watch this video. And the Lord is saying that you're one of these people that has walked your own way, but that you think you're not. And he said that your life is in a big mess right now. But you're putting the blame on other people and not on your own self for walking in rebellion to God. And he's saying you need to turn from that. You need to stop doing that and submit to his will because if you don't, he said the reward for rebellion is fixing to come down on your head in your life and it's going to be really bad and you're not going to be able to fix it. And I mean really bad. Like imprisonment or something like that. It's really bad. So whoever you are, if, if you're a man, just search your heart and just ask the Lord. Because if you're the person this message is for, you need to turn away from whatever it is you're doing because something really bad's fixing to happen to you if you don't. He said this is your last warning. And I just, ugh, just feel something terrible in my spirit. Okay. Consequently, many of you now live lives filled with pain and torment, and you wonder why. Many doors opened to the enemy in your rebellion have brought you to this place. And I see in my spirit many people in bad situations, different levels of bad, and you're very unhappy. And it is because you have just opened these doors. And the Lord said, if you'll pray to him, he'll show you how to close those doors and straighten out your life. If you will hearken to my voice and turn away from those things I lead you away from, I will now help you to set your houses in an order that is pleasing in my sight. Many of you have much work to do, but some of you who have walked in my ways for many years have very little to set, to set right to be in order in my eyes. Sorry, y'all. I, I wrote this really fast when he gave it to me, and so it's, some of it's hard to read. The enemy has set unlawful authorities over some of you within your own houses, and I desire you would set this right. We talk about this for just a second. Unlawful authorities is like, and there's a place in the New Testament where the Bible talks about this, but I forget now where it is. It's like children having authority over parents. It's like uh, parents having authority over a married couple or mother-in-laws or father-in-laws. People that should not have authority over your household have authority. People that have no business having authority over your household. That's what he's talking about here, and I can feel his anger at that. Anytime an unlawful authority comes over you like that, it's because the enemy has set it up because the enemy wants to use it to guide you wrong. I'm talking to somebody. There's a woman. There's a middle-aged woman. There's an unlawful authority over you, and you know the enemy has used him to guide you wrong. You need to set that right. Pray and ask God how to set that right. That's headed for disaster. It is not my desire that you be out of order in your households. How can you obey me if this is so? And this is exactly what happens, y'all. The enemy gets unlawful authorities over our houses, and it keeps us from being able to do God's will. That's like unequally yoked marriages, where if you come under a husband that's unsaved, he doesn't want you to go to church. He doesn't want you to read the Word. He doesn't want you to do anything for God because he doesn't care about God. And that's a serious problem if you're trying to live for God and be in God's will because you put yourself under an unlawful authority. And the problem is a lot of times we get into marriages like that when we're not saved. And I was in one a long time ago, and I remember all too well how horrible it was. But if you turn that situation over to the Lord, he will show you a way to come out of it or to make it okay. In soon times coming, I will be shaking many nations. Households that are out of order cannot survive this shaking. You must put your houses in order while there is yet time. I love you, my children. I do not desire that you fear what is coming. Draw near to me and allow me to protect you under my mighty wings. You will be safe if you will abide in my shadow. And that's obviously a reference to Psalm 91. 
Okay, this business about our houses being out of order is very serious, obviously, to the Lord. And it makes me think of the story in the Old Testament about um, there was a priest, and I think his name was Eli, and he had two sons that were really wicked and evil. And they caused him to, well, they actually caused him to be taken of a heart attack because the Lord was very unhappy with him because they, um, they would like go tell the people that they had to give certain things for sacrifices and they just did everything wrong and evil. It was all about what they wanted. And that's a good story to look at, to, to think about, you know, putting your house in order. God doesn't want unlawful authorities over us. He doesn't want people being used by the enemy to tell us what to do and what not to do. He doesn't want that. And I think that our physical surroundings are also important. And I say that because somebody either posted a comment on um, one of my sites or, and I can't remember where I saw it, if it was there or somewhere else that I read it, but someone posted that the Lord told them that they, the, the Lord told them that he wanted to use them in a greater way, but that their household, their physical surroundings were so chaotic, so out of order, so messy that he couldn't. And I just thought, Wow, who would think that your physical surroundings were that important, but your physical surroundings are a reflection of, you know, what's going on in every place else. So we need to work on those as well. But more importantly is the spiritual order of your house, the order of authority, the order of doing things God's way. Obviously, a lot of this is about walking in his ways, and obeying his commands, because if you're doing those two things, a lot of the other stuff is going to take care of itself. I hear the Holy Spirit saying that he's very pleased with those of you who are taking this seriously, who are trying to set your house in order, that that is very pleasing to him and he's going to help you. There are things coming that are not going to be pleasant, y'all. They're not going to be fun. And the more order that we can walk in and the closer to God that we can walk when those things happen, the, the easier it will be to walk through them. He's saying that there's some things for us personally to walk through, too, that are not going to be fun. There are times of sorrow coming for some of us that we're going to have to walk out that are also not going to be fun. And the more order that we have, in our surroundings and in our spiritual house, the easier it is to get through things like that. Because if you're chaotic, spiritually speaking, and you're in a chaotic surroundings, and then something happens on top of that, everything's just a mess. So he's telling us these things to help us. Anytime God tells us to do something, it is for our benefit. It is to help us. Hey, that's all I have for you for this broadcast, but I hope this is a blessing to you. I hope that it's helpful to you. Um, for those of you who are listening on Blog Talk Radio, you can go to my YouTube channel, Texas Author and the Number One, to see the vision video. It's very short. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot to it. I was just shown one thing, but I was shown a particular part of the United States, and then I prayed and asked God about it, and He spoke one thing to me about the U.S., and that's uh, what it's about. So, And you can leave a comment if you've seen or heard anything that you believe relates to that. I don't have any other details on that because what I saw was very brief. I'm hoping and praying that he shows me more or tells me more about it. I don't have a time frame for uh, whatever it is that's coming on it. So, Anyway, thanks for listening, y'all.